One test Adobe Hearing Center offers is particularly useful with children because it requires no feedback from the patient. We can test children from a few days old to people in their 90s. We think it's really important to identify kids early because they're learning language for the first year and they have to obviously be able to hear words to do that or hear them clearly. A lot of times with our little ones what we like to do at Adobe Hearing Center is use a test assistant along with the audiologist. That way audiologists can be running all the tests. The test assistant can keep the child entertained. With Isaac we use the bubbles um, during the otoacoustic emissions test which he loved and was fascinated watching those bubbles float around and that was so fun for us. A special probe microphone can measure young patients hearing without requiring them to respond to tones or different stimuli. <laughs> For the otoacoustic emissions test, what we did with Isaac was we place an ear probe in one ear and um, ours is just a screening device and so um, while he's holding still and watching bubbles and not paying attention to the fact that there's something sticking in his ear, um, it, it's a test that's sending sounds um, up to the inner ear and it's measuring hair cell function in the cochlea. If the cochlea is normal, then it will actually emit sounds back and the probe that's in the ear is taking a measurement of those sounds coming back and so we can assess normal functioning cochleas or not using that test. In audiology we've always been able to identify the children that were born deaf. We identify them pretty early on because the parents notice and other people do that they're not responding to the environment. The trick has been to identify children who might have less of a hearing loss. So there are some things in their environment that they hear, but they're not hearing speech clearly. And so there might be a delay in them learning that. So the sooner we can get uh, hearing aids on them, then they can start hearing and, and processing language.